This is SAT test six, calculator question number 34. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and a linear equation and asks about the points of intersection, one of which is zero, zero, and the other point is A, A. They're asking for the value of A. Since this is a calculator question, the easiest option is to go to my graphing calculator, graph y equals 3x squared minus 14x and y1, graph y equals x and y2, and find the points of intersection. When I look at the graphs, y equals x looks something like this. The other graph looks something like this. And since the point of the intersection is on my calculator, I can use the intersect function, second trace for calculate. Option 5 on the TI-8384 is intersect. Hit enter twice and move closer to that second point of intersection than to the one at the origin. Hit enter a third time, and I get the x-coordinate and y-coordinate are both 5. They're asking for a, so a equals 5. I would grid in 5. Alternatively, I can solve this algebraically. Normally, calculator questions can be solved algebraically, but it might take a bit longer. The y-expression 3x squared minus 14x has to equal the y-expression x. Subtract x from both sides. 3x squared minus 15x equals 0. I have a common factor of 3x, and I'm left with x minus 5. That product equals 0, so either 3x equals 0, which means x equals 0. That's the answer they gave us, the origin. Or the second factor equals 0. x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5 to both sides. x equals positive 5. For a not equal to 0, the value of a would be positive 5. And this doesn't take a lot longer algebraically than it does on the calculator, but this is a long test. And the more work you can do on the calculator, the more energy you have for the questions that cannot be done on the calculator. So I would definitely go to the calculator immediately to find this answer. College Board often asks about quadratics, and you can consider this a system of equations. Come back soon for my next math vi video. With math, there's always more.